Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to showcase my Lyra Battle Royale mode that I will be uploading a tutorial on very soon on the channel. And before I get into the video, if you want to check out this project in its entirety, I will be uploading it to my Patreon. So if you want to download all of the source project files and all that stuff, make sure you go to my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description, patreon.com slash smartpoly, and you can download the full project with all the source code. Also, big thanks to my current patrons for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so the very first thing that I have here is my custom open world map here. It's sort of a smaller sized map, but you guys can play around with it and make it much larger. Um, I made a separate tutorial on how to create just this specific map from scratch. So if you want to check that out, check out my previous video. I can leave a link in the description below. But I've made a couple of modifications to this current map, uh, which include some of these random buildings here with different weapon pickups, launch pads, healing pickups, and whatnot. Just a really simple map, nothing too fancy. And then over here on the very corner of the map, I've added this separate island. And what this island is, is kind of like how they have it set up in Fortnite, where you spawn in over here, and this is sort of like the lobby area. So it's basically a lobby where you wait for people to join the game, and once you reach a certain amount of people, like say about uh, 30 to 60 players, then you'll go ahead and start the game. So yeah, that is the map. Let's go ahead and show off some of the gameplay. Okay, so here we are, spawn in. And this is basically, like I said, the lobby island. So you can run around and you can shoot other players. It won't actually do any sort of damage to the player. So this is sort of like a test, I guess, test range, shooter range that you can practice your aim while you wait for the game to start. Basically the same way they have it set up in Fortnite. Okay, and so now that the game has started, we are in the plane that goes over the map. You can see at the very top we have two players left, so it'll get the amount of players in the game currently. And then what you can do is once you're over part of the map, you can jump out of the plane and we'll eject the player. So we'll go ahead and jump out. And now you're going to see we don't have any um, falling down animations or any sort of diving animations yet, but we'll go ahead and add that later. Um, but as you can see here, we can run around pick up different items. I've added a couple of these launch pads in here. And another thing that I've also added, which you'll normally see in any sort of battle royale game, is you have this blue circle that is shrinking around the map. So I've gone ahead and added a circle here. It basically shrinks, and as you can see, it's slowly shrinking. And if we go outside the circle, we start to take damage. So it'll apply this passive effect that will make your character take damage if you're outside the circle and whatnot. So right now we have two players left. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick up one of these health pickups. So we can go ahead and jump up here. Get our health pickup. And like I said, you guys can completely customize all the buildings and pickups on this map. This is just a demo. So let's go ahead and find our other player here and eliminate him. So we'll go over here. And then you can see once we kill them, we have Victorious. And then the other player has defeated. Okay, so just a really simple Battle Royale template. There's not a whole lot going on. Then you're going to see here it also resets the game. So it goes back to the lobby mode. Now another thing that you might not have noticed, or at least you're not able to see well, is I've also added a spectator mode. So what happens once your player dies, uh, you possess sort of the spectator pawn, which then allows you to fly around the map and watch the rest of the game. So just really cool. Um, addition to this mode but yeah like I said you guys can completely customize the map and I'll be uploading a full tutorial on how to make this mode coming on the channel pretty soon but yeah like I said this is obviously gonna work with more than just two players if you have 
40 players, 60 players. Be interesting to try and test out maybe 100 different players at once, like how they have it set up in Fortnite. But yeah, one thing I'm currently working on is just randomizing everything. So working on randomizing that the route that the plane takes as well as where exactly the circle spawns. And I'll also be working on adding things like a mini map as well as say like a compass at the top of the screen to kind of show the direction of where the player is going. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the battle royale project that I have to show off here. I can go ahead and find the other player and eliminate them. You can see we've won the game. So pretty simple. And I can show you guys some of the stuff that I've set up in this demo project. So you can see here in this test game mode, I actually set up my own Lyra experience definition. And I go over this in my other tutorials about Lyra on how to add a custom game mode. So I've gone ahead and created my own custom experience definition that includes this scoring component. So if I go ahead and open up this scoring component, this is pretty much all the logic that I use for this game mode. And it's really nice using all the pre-built stuff that the library game comes with, such as the scoring system and game phases. That allows me to just make use of everything that's already built in, and I don't have to do really anything extra. So I also have things like the plane actor. So this is actually a free 3D asset that you can download on the marketplace. But yeah, just a really simple plane that all the players will jump out of. Then I also have these waypoints here. So this is exactly the route that the plane will take from this point to that point. And like I said, I'm adding it so it'll be randomized across the map. That way the plane will spawn at different locations and take different routes. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the blueprint. Uh, there really isn't a whole lot to how I've set this up. And like I said, you guys can download this on my Patreon and completely customize the map. Or you can go ahead and follow the tutorial that I have on my channel already on how to make this custom map that you see here. But all of this stuff on here is fully customizable so I can select stuff like these mountain brushes and I can move them around if I don't like the certain position of the mountains. I can also take something like these hills and move those around. There's a lot of stuff that you can tweak and customize. You can obviously add your own better looking buildings. Like I said, I kind of just slapped up a couple of different assets together. And you can of course add your different pickups and items at certain locations around the map. Like around this area, this is sort of like the central hub location of the map. Of course, you could add different points of interest having certain loot spawn in certain areas. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to quickly show off my working battle royale mode that I've set up. Like I said, if you want to download this project, I'm only going to be uploading it to Patreon. But that being said, I will be uploading a tutorial on my YouTube channel to show you how to make this from scratch. So stay tuned for that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.